Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm going to unbox the latest Megabox samples. I have a bi-monthly subscription and this is the January-February box for 2018. So let's have a look after the intro. So like I mentioned, I have a bi-monthly subscription and that means that I get 8 samples in each box and that saves me on shipping as it's relatively expensive to ship a small package to Iceland. So let's have a look what's in the box. I haven't opened it up and I always try to make sure I don't watch any unboxing video of the Maker Box even in the January session when people have got their boxes before me. So I want, to, want it to be a surprise for me to see what's inside the box. So uh, let's have a look. So the first uh, sample is from Protopasta. Uh, this one is composite, composite copper. Um, this is HTPLA mixed with copper powder. Um, and they say that you should sand and polish this for metallic look. And um, this is very heavy, this sample. <laughs> And I look forward to try this out. I have tried out a copper fill from Colorfab, and, uh, but I haven't tried this before from Protopasta, so that's the first one. The second one is, is polypropylene from Verbitam. And this uh, brand was known in the back in the day for creating a lot of floppy disks and CD-ROMs, uh, but uh, they seem to be in the filament making business also and that's a nice surprise I guess this is a, a company that does all sorts of things but this is a, a soft and chemical resistant polymer sticks well to PA type print supported like a flexible filament and this polypropanyl I hope I'm saying that right so that's the second one and this prints at 210 to 230 degrees with a bed temperature of 100 degrees so this was uh, here. Uh, here I got a, a Maker Box uh, sticker. It's a nice one. Um, here's a piece of candy, uh, fruity cheese from Starburst. I uh, tried this. Uh, look forward to uh, East East Coast Wrap Wrap Festival card. There's a link here to East Coast Wrap Wrap Fest dot com. Then I got a Verbitan. Uh, business card or a sticker. I think this is a sticker. And I got discount codes that I'm gonna keep for myself. <laughs> Next filament is from uh, Extrant. This is a reinforced material material enable new performance stances on their logo. And this is called GF30 PP. Um, is glass fiber filled polypropylene from owner's corning. Very stiff and strong for functional prototyping and tooling. Required hard, harder nozzles. And this prints at 220 to 280 degrees and with 80 to 110 degrees on the bed. And this is uh, abrasive material with, with glass uh, fibers. The next one is from Matterforts. And they call it advanced matte PLA. They say here that it's a premium quality PLA with a matte finish for higher, higher quality visual prints. And this prints at 180 to 220 degrees at room temperature to 60 degrees on the bed. So it's a pretty standard PLA temperature for this filament and from Matterforts. The next one is from Treat. Uh, called architectural clay and um, here it says uh, filament is mixed with clay powder for prints with an excellent surface finish and I look forward to try this on, one out this prints uh, between 220 to 240 degrees and with a bed temperature of 85 to 115 and um, it's a new one I haven't seen this brand before tree uh, I look forward to try this out and see how it, how it looks next one is from Dr. 3D filament Dear 3D filament, and this is ABS slash PA, and they say here it's a blend of polyamide, uh, nylon in a bracket, and ABS for strong functional prints. And the manufacturer advises baking it for 24 hours at 40C for best quality. So because probably it's a nylon-based filament, it will absorb moisture. 
so uh, you have to take care of that before you print so that's something i have to try for trying it out before i print with this filament from dr 3d dear 3d filament next one is uh, from Puss plastics and this is a asa filament i haven't tried a asa filament before so that will be interesting um, they say here it's prints between 230 to 240 degrees and 80 to 110 on the bed temperature and say here it's a functional material with similar properties of abs introduce uv uh, inhabitors so it's perfect for prints that will be used outside pretty similar to abs but with a little less warping and i i think that the ASA material is better than ABS in that regard of, of warping, at least what I've seen. But I haven't tried ASA material before, so this will be interesting to see. The last one is a, a vacuum packed from Form Futura. And this filament is called STYX-12. And this is a industrial grade PA-12 nylon, nylon filament with combines excellent mechanical, chemical and hydroscopic properties with printability. And this one is from Form Futura, prints at 240 to 270 degrees and with the bare temperature at 80 to 120 degrees. And I look forward to try this out and I haven't done much nylon printing only from a maker box sample. And I look forward to try this out. And there's an advertising sticker from Verbitan and just with some information about their filaments so that was all that was inside the makeup box so this was the january slash february makeup box samples i got in the mail today and i look forward to try out those samples there was a lot of new filaments i haven't seen before or and manufacturers also i haven't seen before so it will be interesting to see how how the filament uh, comes out but uh, for now I, I thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one